Welcome again to the Crypto Trending Channel. To ensure that you don't miss any critical updates on the Pi Network, kindly subscribe to this channel. The migration to mainnet has been anticipated by pioneers all around the world. Additionally, I've heard from a lot of my subscribers who indicate that after finishing their Pi lockup, they are unable to see their migrated Pi. The Pi coin can now be used as intended and planned by the Pi Network's founders, despite the fact that many have stopped mining and some have even gone so far as to deactivate the app. Keep in mind that the current closed mainnet phase's main objective is to let millions of pioneers to go through the KYC process and finish it. There are over 35 million pioneers who are actively engaged in mining, taking into account the highs and lows in any sort of delay, that is, in my opinion, an impressive track record for a respected and devoted community for any cryptocurrency. I'll be discussing the date of the Pi Network's main net migration to open main net in this video. Yes, this indicates that it's almost time to use your migrated coins, stay tuned to the very end of the video if you want to learn when and how this will be achievable. The date that has been eagerly awaited by those pioneers who have passed the KYC, I can attest that the Pi Network KYC procedure is proceeding smoothly, all signs point to the fact that more than half of the pioneers have received invitations to submit KYC applications. The KYC application is growing so that more pioneers can go through KYC and so that the network validators can handle submitted applications that have not yet been processed, even though it will still take some time for the network to submit, examine and finalize these KYC applications, it should be noted that before a pioneer can transfer their Pi balance to mainnet, the Pi KYC identification verification is necessary and must be completed. This implies that before you can move any mine Pi to the main net, you must be invited to KYC, accept KYC, and have KYC approved. Keep in mind that only the Pi that has been unlocked can be accessed once it has been transferred to the Pi wallet. Also, keep in mind that the current closed main net phase's main objective is to let millions of pioneers to go through the KYC process and finish it. While numerous apps are being created to enable a utility-based economy, it's encouraging to see how close the Pi Network core team and the community as a whole are to achieving these goals. KYC progress has been tremendous so far, with a steady increase in pioneer KYC enrollment due to ongoing KYC process improvements and outstanding work by validators around the world. KYC in particular has been effectively developed utilizing validators, it increased from 70 at the beginning of April. The most recent information indicates that more than 1,250 human validators are actively checking KYC applications on a daily basis around the globe. Currently, these KYC validators are able to verify the identities of more than 900 pioneers every day. These numbers will keep increasing as KYC expectations rise and more pioneers that have passed KYC apply and join the validator team. Even though this figure may vary from day to day as we've seen in prior weeks, I'm aware that many people haven't yet received their invitations to KYC and that many of them believe they'll never get one. In most countries, it takes less than a day to complete a typical valid pioneer's KYC, assuming no unexpected issues like his name appeals, incomplete information, or unclear photographs prevent the machine algorithm from automating. This is one of the main reasons why the invitation to KYC takes time to pop up on some Pioneer's apps, some applications might take as little as 15 minutes to finish. For human validators, the adaptability of the Pi KYC solution performs as intended by its design, with amazing speed and worldwide coverage, especially after the launch of the human validation workforce in a country. While the Pi network has advanced significantly, a number of other pioneers are still awaiting for their invitation to KYC or for their KYC applications to be assessed and validated. The core team has taken a number of proactive steps to help more pioneers complete KYC as soon as possible in light of the significance of KYC for every pioneer. The core team's largest obstacle right now is the previous KYC submissions made by a few early Pi pioneers. The core team is presently working on solutions for KYC applications that might have overlooked important information from prior applications, such as specific Yodi KYC applicants and some pilot Pi KYC applicants, in order to assist in resolving this. Early miners used the Yodi app to submit their applications. Additionally, the Pi Core team has established a tailored fast track Pi KYC process for previous Yodi KYC applicants to complete any information that is still missing. In order to solve the difficulties that some Yodi KYC candidates are encountering during this procedure, an additional functionality is also being created. 
the Pi Core team is currently working on a reprocessing mechanism that will match pilot applications with current KYC requirements and a resubmission feature that will essentially match the chances that current KYC applicants get when submitting their applications. These mechanisms will be available to previous KYC pilot applicants. There would be numerous opportunities for current applicants to submit again, which was not possible with the KYC app's test version, due to the fact that the current improved and expanded Pi KYC solution has the potential to process new applications quickly. The core team is currently working on a new resubmission feature that will be released soon. This feature will allow previous Yodi app and KYC pilot applicants to resubmit a completely new application and get unstuck. Therefore, a procedure to help pioneers with challenging name appeals that slow down KYC processing and might even need the help of a human validator has been developed. Please be aware that due to the pioneer's distinct method of accessing the Pi network, processing their accounts through the Pi KYC machine automation component requires longer and more complicated procedures which delays the delivery of KYC slots for some nations or locations. As a result, KYC enrollment may generally be slower in some nations or regions than in other regions. Try to be patient as the Pi network expands the KYC solution and addresses the corner cases that are concerns to you Pi network pioneers who have not yet received the invitation to apply for KYC. I want to congratulate everyone who has progressed so far and who has also completed and passed their KYC. Thanks for watching.